Hi. In all this worldwide crisis going on at the moment with you know what, one of the biggest problems is the shortage, well, could be potentially in some areas, other areas not, but could potentially be the shortage of ventilators. Uh, these help your breathing because the you know what thing causes a problem in your lungs where you can't, where you need a ventilator, uh, potentially need a ventilator to uh, survive. And I've actually had quite a lot of people contact me and say, Dave, why don't you design like an open source ventilator? Well, I, I'm not a mechanical engineer and this is mostly a mechanical engineering uh, problem. And B, there are plenty of uh, teams out there around the world actually working on open source ventilators of various uh, kinds. So yeah, fantastic. If you've got links to uh, one available, please leave it in the comments down below. But I believe like there's a whole bunch, like probably dozens of groups working on open source ventilator designs and stuff like that, which is absolutely fantastic. But this just hit the uh, news. Wall Street Journal, Medtronics, who's a big medical uh, device and ventilator manufacturer, publishes design specs for ventilator to combat. Company says other firms can pursue rapid manufacturing of critically needed product. So I do, unfortunately, we I don't subscribe to the article. But anyway, it's just been on TechCrunch as well. Medtronics is sharing its portable ventilator design specifications and code for free to all to use. Look at this, uh, you know, little nice little compact ventilator thing that hooks up to the tubes and everything else. I assume it's got like pumps and everything. It's got little, uh, like this looks like oxygen flow sensors or something like that. You know, it all like awesome, right? Imagine if you could like 3D print this case and uh, they've got all the design, they're releasing all the design files and everything else and absolutely fantastic, right? Healthcare and biomedical engineering company Medtronics was in the news recently because Tesla CEO Elon Musk had discussions with the company about the automaker's potential plans to build ventilator hardware in order to address the crisis. Today it's doing something potentially far more impactful. Medtronics is making available to anyone the full design specifications, pr uh, produce <laughs> manuals, design documents and in the future software code for its uh, 560 portable ventilator and in the future the software code. Yeah, we'll get into this and it's compact, blah, blah, blah. It's originally introduced in 2010, so it's decade qualified. So there's a link to other companies trying to like produce like uh, these ventilators and things like that. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so anyway, it's like it's it's made all the news. Here's uh, Star Simpson on Twitter. This is huge, huge, huge. Medtronic is leading enormously forward thinking uh, by doing this, etc, etc. And um, here's their manual for the thing and it looks like an impressive product although this is i find this fascinating just get, stick with me for a second we go through the manual the first thing you get to of course you know all manuals have this as warnings okay warnings 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 are we there yet Ah, oh, yep, um, uh, <laughs> we're still going, hey, we're finally finished. Sure, they require electronics, you know, there's microprocessors in there, they've got LCDs, they've got control algorithms, control systems, basically to control pumps and things like that. I won't pretend to know how ventilator designs work and things like that. If you've got a real good uh, example, please link it in uh, down below. But yeah, um, I assume there's pumps in here and, and little, as I said, like sensors that hook up and, and things like that. So it'd be awesome if they actually release the actual design for this so that others could actually produce it. And sure enough, if you go in here, um, our open, they're calling it open file. These are the open files. Our ventilator specifications, your ingenuity, Medtronic is mobilizing to fight the pandemic and we're inviting innovators everywhere to join us. Currently there is a shortage of respirators and ventilators around the world. Medtronic is responding to this crisis by making the design files for the 560 ventilator system available to public. Our hope is that manufacturers and engineers will use this intellectual property to inspire their own potentially life-saving innovations inspire and that's the word here because unfortunately um i'm gonna have to call this out as uh mike from mike's electric stuff um he's calling bullshit on medtronic's open source ventilator design no mechanical drawings no software no bombs look for yourself well let's go in and look for yourself now of course i totally appreciate the gesture of medtronic's for doing this but it seems to be more of a publicity stunt unfortunately than anything that's actually going to help anyone so as they said themselves i think in that article or whatever they're not releasing the software for this yet 
Um, anyway, let's go in. We can actually register to download this software here and I'll save you the trouble. Here's the direct link that looks like it works. Open files, thank you. And so we've got the release design files. Let's take a look at them. So this here is what you get. Now you get this permissive license. The enclosed materials include design and manufacturing information, documentation and user manuals, uh, design software in source code and object form. Well, I don't think there's any software in here, but they said they might release that in the future. These terms apply and not other projects you may work on now in the future with Metronics. In this license, you refers to the entity, permissive license non-exclusive, royalty-free, worldwide license to design materials to use, make, have made, manufacture, have manufactured, sell and sold a ventilator in response to the uh, pandemic, the purpose you are free to use, share, distribute, make available to others, publicly displayed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you may reproduce, modify, or distribute the software only as needed. Revocability, they cannot revoke this license during the uh, term as long as you follow the license terms. You must make your modifications available under license that includes terms identical to the terms of this license. So that's good. It's basically uh, the copy left thing or whatever it is. They don't accept any liability, blah, blah. Okay, so we've got in here requirements documents. So uh, product requirements documents, software requirements, specification, ventilator and power pack essentials requirements, matrix. So I'm not sure how like useful these are gonna be. Product requirements document, power supply system, hardware and ventilator system. These are just the actual like it looks like the requirements of like i have no idea what any of that means um you know i'm sure there'll be tons of stuff in here which uh unless you're into like ventilator design and stuff you'll have no idea about but okay like they're just citing standards and things like that okay we are getting into something potentially useful airflow generate capable of supply sufficient range of flow three-way valve and things like that microprocessor control they're just pointing out okay so we've got air inlet filter here our double material filter to clean the air. Three is an inlet silencer, pre prevents turbine noise coming out the air and inlet interface. Then you've got to have a turbine, a high speed, low inertia air compressor and things like that. You've got to have an outlet silencer and exhalation control valve supplied uh, valve pressure sensors, maintain steam flow, main stream flow sensor, exhalation flow sensor, proximal pressure sensor, internal pressure sensor. Look at like, there's lots of things needed in the like the physical design physical embodiment of the product that is a ventilator like this so um yeah great okay so we've got a block diagram for our ventilator how it works ventilation system design so that's all hunky dory and they're talking just going and talking about power on self tests and things like that ac pressure control right so they've got like some potentially useful information in there monitoring uh, tidal volume and things like that okay you know that might be helpful for some uh, design uh, teams out there and things like that but let's go for then you've got software requirements documents and what on earth is all that looks like they got like some potentially useful uh stuff about like software control and things like that maybe i don't know please leave it in the comments down below if you've got any idea um if any of this is stuff is useful to some sort of open design anyway this is 204 pages so this is like like is this all their routines and stuff like that um maybe it's of only of any use unless you have the actual source code and software we've got a requirements matrix here i i don't know what's doing there uh, that's you know yeah Okay, but manufacturing documents, this is where we should get all the good stuff. So I've unzipped these two here and you just get a whole bunch of these PDFs and Mike's right. There is no like actual CAD files. There's no electronic CAD files for the production of like valves and turbines and ventilators. Where's the bill of materials, things like that. These are the manufacturing documents to make this thing. Um, and we've got, okay, we've got assembly procedures, packs, final test procedures, system calibration test procedure, you know, uh, like uh, quality flow charts, system calibration test procedure, like these are just their in-house test procedures, absolutely useless, um, unless you can produce the final product. So that's all the manufacturing documents that they're releasing. So un unfortunately, like without those, a ventilator design is like 90 plus percent mechanical like it's all the valves and and turbines and filters and things and you know also sensors and all that sort of mechanical 
stuff that you saw in those uh, block diagrams before. So unfortunately, they don't provide any of that at all. So yeah, uh, this is like, it's basically marketing BS, okay? We've got the service manual. Maybe the service manual's got something useful in it. But once again, this is just like servicing the unit. It doesn't help you actually manufacture the thing, which is what's needed right now. Here go the warnings again. Specifications, like, yeah, okay. There's really nothing of value that's going to help you manufacture a thing. Okay, we've got our schematics. Beauty. Let's take a look at the schematics. I've unzipped them here. Here's our CPU board schematic. Wow, that's old school. And once again, only available in PDF. There's no electronic files here. Where's the uh, where's the CAD files? Like for these things, if people want to, like, you'd have to spend, even if you had the software for this thing, which we don't, because they don't haven't released the software, even if you wanted to actually produce this, even if you had the knowledge to create all of the valves and all the turbines and all the mechanical part of this, like, you, you'd have to redo, or somebody would have to go in there and redo all of this schematic because they're not releasing the actual CAD files in whatever package this is done in. I don't know. Um, like AllCAD or something, perhaps. And what's the main processor they're using? ST10F278. ST10F276. That'll do, I guess. Okay, this looks a bit old. We're looking 2005. Let's actually search for 276E. It's available. Okay, but I like I don't know where the 278 is. If you've got any idea what the 278 is because I'm sure it said 278. Can you even get this micro, even if you could get all the design files? There's just, no, nah, there's just no such thing as the 278 by the looks of it. Uh, I didn't get that wrong, did I? Seems to be an eight, but it could be a six. I, I don't know. Let's just search for that one, assuming that it's uh, compatible. Okay, you know, there's a few hundred in stock around. Uh, 3,000, okay, maybe, you, okay, you might be able to get it. But yeah, like even if you could, Get that, like, you don't have the software, you don't have anything, you don't have the files in CAD format. It's it, it's pretty much useless, unfortunately. command -E, Turbine? Anyway, there, there's the blower command board. Okay, so there's, there's all the MOSFET driver for all the temperature sensor and things like that. Okay, it's great that they're releasing the schematic, but unfortunately, without it in electronic form and without the software to go along with it and without all the mechanical stuff, it, it you know... It's basically useless. Tantalumless. <laughs> Can't use those tantalums, those pesky tantalums. Uh, power pack, but that's it. I mean, that's it for the files that they've released. They uh, Somewhere they said that they might release uh, the files, like the software, um, in the future. But uh, that, that doesn't help out now. So, unfortunately, I've got to, um, like Mike, I've got to call uh, BS on... This, maybe Medtronic get a point for at least trying, but it seems to be a marketing gimmick, really. It's just a, like a marketing stunt. These design files aren't really that helpful. But please, if I'm wrong, leave it in the comments uh, down below and say, oh yeah, I'm working on this and I, I that uh, diagram of all the ventilator de design stuff you showed. Oh, that's very useful. Thanks. And it might... It might be, but no, it's no, don't believe, I'm sure this will like get even more traction because this uh, article was only released in the last couple of hours. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there'll be more and more. They'll get what they wanted. They got their publicity for this thing, but unfortunately, no, fail Medtronic. Sorry, I'm not buying that one. Got to call BS. That's really, it, it's, it's not helpful. People will go in spending their time on this and when they could be working on some, you know, proper open source uh, design somewhere. So yeah, that's just a, a real shame that they're not, like, at least release electronic CAD files and like in, in like CAD readable formats and things like that. At least a bill of materials. What what motors are they using? Are they like are they custom? What valves are you using? Are they cut? Like, where's all that detail? It it's absolutely useless. Without that, because that's what a whole that's what a ventilator is all about. You can't just release a couple of PDF schematics and and a couple of you know a service manual and things like that and say, hey, look, aren't we fantastic? We're contributing, letting people actually design their own. No, no, sorry, it's a shame because let like, they could have actually released some useful info. No, nah, thumbs down. Anyway. 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, if you like the video, give it a give Medtronics a thumbs down. Give this video a thumbs up and discuss down below and over in the EV blog forum. Catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.